All right, so from here, we're gonna go into our warm up. We're gonna go nice and smooth. We're gonna start with our air squats. We're gonna think three points of contact. Big toe, pinky toe, and heel. Screwing your feet into the ground. We're gonna sit the hips back and down, keeping the core tight. Head and chest is up, all right? Stand it up, squeeze your butt at the top. Get used to what it feels like to stand all the way up and extend those hips fully. I'm gonna sit the hips back and down. Stand up and squeeze at the top, pulling those hips into that hip extension we were talking about in our activation drills. From here, we're gonna go into a lunge. So I'm gonna step it out. So with my three points of contact, shins nice and vertical when I stand it back up. Step it out, shins nice and vertical. I'm pressing my leg out towards the outside edge of my shoe and standing it up nice and tall. From here, we go back into the air squat. A few more reps. Down and up, maybe add a little bit more speed. And then from here, we're gonna go into a, re into a reverse lunge. So I'm gonna pick one leg and it's gonna stay still. Instead of lunging forward, I'm going to keep this leg planted and I'm gonna step my opposite leg back into that lunge position and stand it back up. Switching legs, step it back. I'm using that lead leg to drive up, touch, and back up. Pressing the leg out just like we did before, standing up and squeezing the glutes. Now from here, we're gonna go into our hollow body hole and then our hollow rock. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay flat on the ground. I'm gonna bring my legs out, try to point my toes. Now the idea, what we're gonna do is go arms overhead and then up and into this hollow position. Toes are pointed, flexing my quads, abs are engaged, pulling the ribs down towards the hips and really getting that <clears throat> clearing of your throat kind of tension. My shoulders and shoulder blades are gonna come off the ground and my arms are gonna be as close to overhead as I can get it. We're gonna go into this hold and then we're gonna turn it into a rock. When it comes to the rock, we don't wanna break or bend at any point in that line. We wanna make sure that that line is staying nice and smooth and nice and engaged the entire time. A lot of times what'll happen is we'll come back, we'll reach overhead, extend through that T-spine, and then we'll try to create momentum into that rock. So let's focus on keeping that core engaged and not bending at the spine. The next thing we're gonna go into is our kettlebell warm-up. And here's where we're gonna find out what that head cutter is. We've done half head cutters a few times over the course of uh, the last few months. Now we're gonna see what a full head cutter looks like. So we're gonna start with that kettlebell deadlift. Okay, now if you have dumbbells, if you have dumbbells, this is just gonna be a regular old dumbbell clean to the shoulders, okay? You can turn it into a power clean and then go down and up into a thruster, or you can go squat clean into an overhead movement, okay? With the kettlebell, it looks like this. We start with our deadlift and up, using the legs and hips to create that power and that momentum. Right through here, sit the hips back. From here, we turn it into a deadlift high pull. Remember, with the deadlift high pull, the legs and hips are doing all the work. The arms are very passive. They're just helping guide the kettlebell up and towards your collarbone. Legs are doing all the work. And we don't wanna see you really struggling to lift the bell. We wanna see you jump the bell, okay? So a few more reps of the kettlebell high pull, and then we're gonna go into a half head cutter. comes to the half head cutter and then into the full head cutter we're gonna go one into the next we want to see that beautiful kettlebell high pull and then I'm gonna slide my hands to the horns of the kettlebell on the outside and pull myself into a squat it looks like this that nice smooth acceleration up the bell gets weightless and I transfer underneath and into that smooth squat clean. Now from here, that's a half head cutter. The full head cutter looks like this.
that beautiful high pull down into a squat clean, up and into an overhead. So almost like a squat clean into a thruster. All right, everybody. That is the warm up for today, Wednesday, June 3rd. Time's going by so fast already. <laughs> if you guys have any questions, go ahead and hit us up on True Coach. Reach out to us on social media. We're happy to help you guys get through it or find some sort of substitution, whatever it is that you might need.